Hello students, uh, let's start our unit 10. The topic of unit 10 is games and sports. Getting started. So what activities are shown in the pictures below? Talk about their importance. So there are four pictures and there are different four games. Uh, are shown in the picture first is volleyball in second picture we can see uh, basketball people are playing basketball third picture is chess and the last one uh, fourth picture is uh, running athletics so games and Esports are always important because they help the students to improve their self-esteem, social skills, they increase the level of confidence, they help students for time management and they help to maintain discipline also games and sports help for career path and hobby also games and sports helps to reduce control the stress stress and depression that is why games and sports are always important now let's move towards our text the title of the text is the first olympic games there are two questions um, at the starting of the text uh, we will discuss about these questions as well what objects can you see in the picture so this is the picture of Olympic logo so we can see the picture of Olympic logo we can see the Olympic logo in the picture yeah second question number B what do they represent so there are five rings in the Olympic logo and holding by five different people so which represent the five different continent of the world now let's start the text and explanation the first olympic games in ancient greek there lived a man called tantalus so in the very beginning time in greek there used to live a man tantalus he was half man and half god his father was the Greek, great Greek god, Zeus. So the supreme god of all the ancient Greek, that is Zeus. One day Zeus invited or called him to Mount Olympus. So one day uh, his father and Zeus called Tantalus to uh, Mount Olympus, high above the clouds for dinner. So above the clouds for dinner. When Tantalus received the invitation from his father, he was very proud. So he was very happy and proud. Dinner with the gods. So he was very proud because he got the opportunity to dine together with the gods, to eat the uh, food with the gods, he thought. So he thought in his mind what a grand honor so what a great opportunity so grand honor means a great opportunity said the tantalus and climbed up to the very top of mount olympus so thinking this this is this is one of the great opportunity for me he climbed up yeah uh, to the very top of the mount olympus in his embroidered robes means embroidered means decorated robes means a long and loose 
outer garments or type of clothes yeah to dine with his father and the other gods they had an exquisite dinner together means uh, exquisite means extremely delicious or good beautiful and delicate dinners uh, together the next morning next day in the morning tantalus lay in bed and uh, he was lying uh, on the bed and remembering the glorious evening so he was just remembering or thinking about uh, the evening when he dined with the gods yeah the delicious food so i must return the invitation so while uh, he, he was thinking about the dinner and he thought that he must return the invitation but what can i serve them he was thinking he should uh, invite them for dinner yes as uh, he was invited by the god so but he was thinking what can i solve i must give them something i value more than anything so he was uh, just thinking in his mind he should serve them something very special and then tantalus had a terrible idea terrible means very horrible idea fearful idea a horrible one yeah he decided to take his son so he decided to serve his son as the dinner so uh, his son's name was pelops and chop him up chop him into small pieces and serve him as a stew means this or type of dish uh, made by meat or dish of meat stew mean or this uh, means or dish of meat to god the gods who saw everything were furious so when the gods saw that they were furious means very angry how could he do such a thing how can he chop into his small uh, small pieces his own son they asked and the god asked the tantalus he knows we hate human sacrifice so god don't accept human sacrifice yeah so we will have to punish him so the god decided to punish tantalus for uh, doing such uh, very uh, hori horrible act yeah so they ask he knows he hate human sacrifice we will have to punish him as a punishment they sent him down to the underworld so they decided then gods decided to send him underground where he had to stand in uh, uh, stand water up to his neck forever so that was his punishment decided by the or given by the gods so he he he, he will be sent uh, to the underworld where he had to stand forever where the water will come up to his neck meanwhile at the same time the gods brought pelops back to life and they uh, bring or uh, they made pelops alive again as a special present they give him a chariot means a, a good vehicle with a team of snow white horses that could run faster than the wind yeah they give a special gift to pelops take these horses said zeus to pelops and find yourself a kingdom so they give them uh, give him the gift and tell him to go and find a suitable kingdom for himself for you shall become a great ruler he 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 shall become a great king pelops thanked the gods and mounted his chariot and he he ride mounted means ride uh, his chariot and gallop means run fast down the dusty mountain road and out onto the plain as he came around a curve so as he come around the curve means at the turning he rain means re uh, re stain 
or hold back in his horses he just stopped his horses for he saw an old man dressed in rags means rags means very old clothes by the side of the road so when he saw a very old man um, wearing very old clothes uh, by the side of the road he just stopped his uh, horses and asked where are you going uh, he asked loudly shouted the old man i am off to find a kingdom philips replied so the old man asked him where are you going and he replied i am off to i am going to find a kingdom philips philips uh, replied then i have an idea for you the old man said i have an idea for you said the old man i know of a kingdom called alice so the old man replies so i know one kingdom and the the name of the kingdom is alice where a beautiful princess lives in that uh, kingdom a very beautiful princess used to live there her name is hippodamia so uh, the princess name is hippodamia the man who marries the princess will inherit inherit means become the master of all the property become a heir yeah of her father's kingdom that sounds perfect said philips philips likes that idea there is just one problem but the old man said there is a problem caution the old man so he just warned him caution means he made him careful yeah if you want to marry the princess yeah there is a situation if you want to marry the princess you have to run a chariot race against the old king so he has to compete a race with the old king and he has to beat the king means he has to win the king so if you win you get the princess and the kingdom so if you win you get the princess as well as all the property and kingdom if you lose but if you lose the race you get your head chop off so the king will cut off your head from your body so far 12 people have lost so till now 12 people have lost and 12 people have cut off any they have died already so the pelops replied i own lose no i will don't lose uh, said pelops my horses can run faster than the wind and pilaf said my horses can just run faster than the wind but the kings can run faster than the lightning and the old man said the king's horses can run faster than the lightning one the old man so again he give warning to pilaf's I am not afraid. Philip said, "I am not afraid." He thanked the old man and he started off. So he gave thanks to the old man and he continued his journey. After many hours, he reached the palace and wished to see the king. So he requested to meet the king. The servants led him to the king's chamber. Mean chamber means a large hall or la or big big room. There he saw the beautiful princess. When he uh, reached to the big hall, he saw the princess who was very beautiful, Hippodamia, sitting next to the king. Her black be black eyes sparkle like stars. Sparkle means flashes, ah, uh, flashed. Stars when she saw the handsome young visitor pelops bow low before the king yeah he just greet the king by uh, bowing down head or lowering down his head i have come to woo your daughter who means to win your daughter 
He said, My daughter and my kingdom are yours. The king said, So the king said, Okay, young man, my daughter and my kingdom are yours if you win the race, chariot race. My horses can run faster than wind, said Pilops. Pilops replied that my horses are very faster, which can run faster than the wind. Mine can run faster than lightning. So counted the king, means counted, means replied the king. He had never lost a race. So the king ne had never lost any race. His horses were magic. So they can run magically and had been given to him by heirs. Means to given by uh, heirs means god of war. So given by the god of wars to win all the competition. Yeah. Tomorrow morning at sunrise. Tomorrow morning. So exactly when the sun is rise. So the king declared the race shall begin. So re re the race will begin tomorrow at sunrise. So later the race shall begin. Later that evening uh, the princess wandered out near the king's stables. So the princess um, go to near king and uh, go to near king's stable she did not see the stable boy so when she was near the stable where the horses were kept she didn't see the stable boy stable boy who was brushing the horses shiny black coat so they would look their best for the race in the morning so hippodamia look up at the starlit sky starlit means light of a star and said to herself uh, dreamily oh i do wish my father would lose the race so she was um, thinking that so the prince towards uh, the sky and just think herself that oh i do wish my father would lose the race just this time only for this time only once she thought like this like a dream so now the st stable boy who had always adored the princess from afar from a little bit distance adore means respect the princess from afar overhead hippodamia the princess can i make her wish come true so he asked he thought he think himself yeah after the princess went inside after the princess in went inside the went inside the palace he carefully took out the bronze pins he removed the pins that held the great wooden wheels on the chariot so he removed the pins and not from the wheels uh, and replaced them with pins made of candle wax so he removed the original pin, strongest pin, and re uh, just replaced by uh, the candle wax. Early next morning, the royal musicians blew their horns. So different royal um, musicians played the different uh, horns. Uh, crowds of the people gathered on the lost green fields of Olympia. So on the green a field of Olympia where the Olympic um, games takes uh, place games take place the king stood in his chariot his helmet gleaming shining in the sun he was hardly able to hold back his, his snorting his halting explosive sound Pelops stood in his chariot his horses pawed the ground hit the ground by the lake the signal was given and they were off means they started running on my fiery steeds means burning uh, blazing shouted the king faster shouted pillows faster the crowd cheered they the crowd also 
make noise the horses gallop ran gallop means rams neck and neck faster than wind faster than lightning now thought the king i will pull ahead and win so the the king was planning i will pull and he will run faster and win and win he whipped his horses harder he pulled his uh, horses harder but instead of speeding up so when he pulled the horses should speed up but instead of speeding up they fell behind and they lagged behind they left behind something was wrong the wax pins had melted in the heat because of the heat uh, when the wheel rotating the wax pin melted out and suddenly the wheels flew off so the wheels removed yeah went off and the king was thrown to his death because of the accident the king got accident and he died so uh, of course and the pillows had on the race so he would marry hippodamia and rule the kingdom but pillows and hippodamia were very sad yeah they didn't know that uh, incident what uh, what uh, was happened behind the curtain so because of the accident and because of the death of king hippodamia and pillow become very sad that the old king had died yeah he had not really been a mean king so mean means rude king you see just uh, it is just uh, that he had loved his daughter so much he didn't want to give her away in marriage so the king was loving his uh, daughter uh, hippodamia a lot so that he don't wanted to send him uh, send her, uh, her away from him yeah? because he loved his daughter so much so before their wedding pillows and hippodamia decided to have a great funeral feast in honor of the king feast means a lavish dinner great party like yeah so they invited heroes from all over greek to take part in athletics games and races in memory of the king's great chariot race pillows decreed that decreed means order command such games should be held every four years till the end of time and since the games took place on the field of olympia the mount olympia they have been known ever since as the olympic game the, uh, so in uh, this way the olympic was started so every in every four years pelops and his lovely Hippodamia went on to become wise and good rulers of the great kingdom of Alice, true to Pelops' decree. So means decree means death. The games were held every four years on the field of Olympia, but around 580 there was a great earthquake that knocked down that broke down the buildings and a huge flood that covered the fields with water and mud. They remained buried for almost 1,500 years. People forgot about the Olympic Games because of that earthquake and the building and the hall was broken down. Because no one could see the Olympic fields, many people believed that fields and the games had never even existed. So people forget about everything. So they they were forget that Olympic game was ever happened. Yeah, imagine their surprise when in 1875 archaeologists dug into the earth at just the right place and discovered the ancient fields of olympia where the games had taken place so long ago so long ago the olympia used to happen there so archaeologists find out that 
uh, place in 1875 and there was great rejoicing means great joy great happiness around the world and with the help of a Frenchman and his name was Baron Pire de Cobertin the Olympic Games were started once again and today the Olympic Games continue continue every four years athletes from all over the world come together to compete in a spirit of peace and friendship the uh, motto of uh, olympic games is to develop peace and friendship among the continents of the world so all over the world the games are held in different countries and an olympic flame is always kept burning in the stadium from starting till the end so until the games have ended yeah so this flame is lit from the rays of the sun on the olympic fields in greek so that flame is mm, lighting off from the sun rays yeah from the sunlight in the olympic field in greeks so this text was taken from the first olympic games a gruesome Greek myth with a happy ending by Richard Jeans and Thacker Cats. So let's go to the exercise. Exercise A. Complete the sentences with the given words given below. So A. We are having a stew for lunch today. The demon was sent to the underworld for his disobedience to the gods. C. The sleeves of his coat were embroidered in gold. Ismita was absolutely furious at having been cheated. Next. Her wedding dress was absolutely exquisite. Yeah. The prince inherited the kingship after his father's death. Number G. There was a great rejoicing when the Nepali football team won SAF U19 championship. Number H. The king mounted his horse and road away from the palace number i the government decreed that the following day would be a holiday on the occasion of eid number j it was wonderful to spend a week in the last green countryside so let's go to number b right if the following statements are true false are not given based on the information given in the text number a tantalus father zeus was also half god and half man it's true number b tantalus wanted to take revenge with the god so this is also it's uh, not given yeah it's not given number c the gods revive pelops to rule in alice no this is false prince number d princess hippodamia was impressed with pelops at the first sight it's true number e hippodamia wanted to kill the king so that she could inherit the kingdom no she, she never wanted like this this is false but she wished that her father uh, if uh, he lost this uh, lost the rest this time only because he was um, uh, she was she she was attracted to pelops by his personality because he, he was very handsome so number f the olympic games were not held for about 1500 years due to the fear of the earthquake 
no not because of the fear of the earthquake because of the earthquake the olympic uh, building was collapsed so broken down that's why so this is false and number g in every olympic games the torch is carried from greek so this is also true thank you so much